guys, what's going on? It's Ben here from the Blinks team. And I know you haven't heard my voice in a while. And I am really sorry about that. I want to get this channel nice and big. So I think I'm going to start back up with regular videos. And maybe try to get a few nice hits or two and get my name out there. Well, uh, but for this tutorial, it's going to be on how to create a Minecraft server on your Mac and edit some of the properties and you know just set up a nice general basic minecraft server so these are the things you'll need well actually some of the things you'll need you're gonna need a hard drive minecraft and code these this code don't be intimidated by any of this because it's really really simple and I'll leave the links in the description for all the videos so all you gotta do is have this one video and you can start up your own server so let's get started first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the internet now google search something called port map and when you google search you'll end up with something like this and you can just click that right there or you can just click the link down below in the video now this site is like some kind of pirate thing don't ask me but the applications great so just click scroll down and click this download the application it will download it it will be pretty quick and you can go into your downloads if you don't know how to get there go to your Macintosh HD go to your username and find and find downloads now you'll see port map just drag that right to your desktop there okay now to keep things nice and neat and organized we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it minecraft server okay so this will keep everything nice and neat and organized in here so you can stick that in there now you're gonna wanna download one more thing so head over to the minecraft.net the link will be in the description and you'll get to this page which you've probably been to if you've bought the game now you'll see play minecraft click download now you'll see multiplayer server right here now you'll see if you're running on Windows and this is OS X. So what you're going to want to do is click this Minecraft underscore server dot jar. Click it and it will download it immediately right to your downloads. Oh, and that site that you just saw was a site on the wiki page. It will be in the description, a link for it. It also has instructions down here on how to set one up if you need extra help but this video should do it all so go into your downloads once again and get minecraft underscore server dot jar drag this into your minecraft server now you should have this and port map in here okay now what you're gonna wanna do is you could just double click this and it would start your server up but it would not have enough RAM to actually run a server. Now RAM is what runs everything. So you can find out how much RAM you have by clicking on the Apple and going about this Mac. Now it will say memory right here and I have 8 gigabytes. So you want to remember how much RAM you have. So 8 is, yeah, that's how much I have. So you're going to want to now go up here to this um, magnifying glass spotlight and type in text edit there it is now click it and it should open this up for you now what you want to do is click format and then click make plain text now it will get rid of all that fancy stuff so now what you're gonna now head into the description and go to the first code and copy the code and paste it right into there okay now you'll see this has xmx 3g xmx 3g now those g 3g are gigabytes so since i have eight three i could technically go up to seven you never wanna you never wanna um go over top of how much you have or you never want to like tie it like be the same but seven's pretty ridiculous so <laughs> i think for this I'll do one I could go higher but one runs it and the higher you go 
the slower your computer becomes, but the faster your server becomes. And the lower you go, the slower your server, the faster your computer. So you just want to find a nice balance. So now what you want to do is go File, Save. Now you want to save it as start.command. Now remove this dot text. So you want it like that, exactly like that, start.command. That's very important. Now um, you want to save it in your Minecraft server folder. So navigate there by going desktop, Minecraft server, and then click Save. And it will be saved, and you can quit this. Now you should have three things, start.command, start port map, and Minecraft server. Okay, now what you want to do is give this permission to access this. So you're going to go to term, I mean spotlight and type in terminal, terminal, and it will have a, oops, an application right there called terminal. So you want to open that up and you'll get this window that says all this stuff. Now this is basically you can tell your computer to do stuff. So like say hi. Hi. And it speaks to you. But that's not important. So what you're going to do is go to your, the description again where you get this code. And you'll see the second code. chmod space a plus x. Copy it and paste it in. Now, chmod space a plus x. Now you want to put a space. Make sure you have a space after this code. It's very important that you have a space there. Now drag in your start.command. Okay, hit enter, and you should have just given this permission to access this here. Okay, now you can quit that out. And now we'll, we're almost done. So just open up port map, click open. And I had mine already set up, but you're going to open it like this, or it might even be off. But other, th but either way, you're going to have your IP address right here. So this is what your friends or whoever you're inviting to your server is going to type in. So on their Minecraft window, this is the IP address right here, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is push add. Now it will say local port. Now in this local port, type 25565. That is also very important. It should type it automatically into the bottom. And that is the Minecraft server port. So make sure you type in those exact numbers. Now in the description, just type in Minecraft. And then hit add mapping. Okay, so that is that's all set up. Now you just can leave that open, and we'll just stick that over. And you want to double click start dot command. Now it should immediately start. Once you double click, it should immediately start doing all this stuff. Now don't be scared. This is exactly what you want. It should create all these folders: banned IPs, banned players, ops, server, server log, server properties, whitelist, and world and it should start generating you a new world. Now you will have this um, sort of command window pulled up and this here which is just the exact same as this. This just makes it look way neater. So now this is your server thing, like your folder. Um, so now your server is set up. So you can open up Minecraft, log in, and you can go multiplayer and you should be able to join your server. So multiplayer and we'll click add server. Now you can call it my server. And the server address is right what is right here. So just type that in into here. and make sure you put the dots and everything and hit done and then it should pop up right there and then click join server now logging in 
And there you go, I spawned in a cave of some sort. Um, but yeah, that you're now in your own Minecraft server. This is your own. Your friends can join by typing in that exact right IP. So guys, with that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, be sure to send me a nice message, and I will get back to you. So we will see you guys next time.